Okay, another episode of the Zeus Droid Does Sense ROM video series. We made huge progress tonight. I got a new kernel built up that's doing um, 950 megahertz overclock on the top end. Haven't quite got it up to 1.1 gig yet. The HTC framework has been optimized and we've got Wi-Fi running almost perfectly. Um, it connects, we're browsing out to the internet, uh, it doesn't mess with the 3G. The phone bug is still in place where if the data is enabled, incoming calls don't work. And we still don't really have any sign of Bluetooth working. And then of course there's all the typical port error, error, errors and issues. The graphics need to be tweaked. We've got all kinds of random little bugs and crashes. But quite frankly, I think those are going to be minor to deal with compared to everything else that we've already done and, and gotten finished so far. So anyway, that said, let's turn this bad boy on and you can watch some lightning fast speed. Uh, see there's a good example of some of these graphics glitches, but you'll notice that clears up almost instantly. So this is now due to um, my most recent kernel with the HTC fixes that were recommended, I believe, by Birdman. Um, basically Rosie just works like Rosie is intended to run and it's lightning quick. Now, even when this was at stock speed, Rosie flew. Uh, the overclocking definitely doesn't hurt for some of this type of stuff. Uh, I think the scrolling and definitely going out to the internet and loading things up um, benefits all of this significantly, but the graphics and the actual flow is the HTC stuff. Um, animations for the widgets are working pretty well, as you can see there. Not always the pretty smooth and I haven't quite figured that out yet. Some of these are a little more just snap. Um, let's see, let's go into like the weather. Notice here the animation and the weather works properly. Uh, same here, I think this, you know, we can change the cities. Music app. So moving around is definitely not too bad. Hmm. Rosie reload. Now this is overclocked at 950 right now. Well, with the on-demand profile on charger anyway. So the time it takes Rosie to reload is, is something to take note of. Because until we get that fixed, that's something I have to deal with on a regular basis. Now you actually, I don't mind the crash here because you're going to get to see how quick everything reloads. I don't think I, uh, we'll go ahead and, there we go. So there, you can see just like that, everything came back online. Eh, and it crashed again, go figure. It's all right. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is somewhat to demo off the Wi-Fi speeds, but also, well, to prove Wi-Fi is working. I don't know if you can already see the little indicator up top there. But we're going to go in and do speedtest.net in flash, and I'm going to show off the full screen flash mode. And if I have enough time, I might Google flash games and see if I can show something there since some people wanted to see that. But here you can see, again, Rosie's definitely tolerable. It's not in bad shape. So on the internet, I'm running the new... Um, beta version of swipe. Ooh, we're getting some more ray here. Tweak the camera a bit. Um, this new beta version of swipe is pretty slick. And when I signed up earlier tonight on their website, um, it came up almost instantly in my email, the link. So they're definitely not being greedy about taking beta testers right now. Uh, if you can see that blue glow under my finger, um, I really like that effect. It does just seem to detect the words better. It's probably not the best way to show it off because I'm at a really awkward angle on the phone. There we go, speedtest.net go. I wish I could turn the phone uh, landscape easier for you to see this in full screen mode. Um, 
but there's just not a good way to manage the camera and keep things focused. So I'm going to keep it in portrait, but I'm still going to go full screen and then I'm going to zoom in. And it's awesome. When you go full screen with flash in this browser and use the multi-touch feature um, for zooming, it's, it's very, very smooth. It amplifies the movements too, which is interesting. Okay, so I guess I'm zoomed in as far as it's going to go. I find their interface to be a little bit tricky here. I'm trying to select LA. There we go. Go go Wi Fi gadget, 169 millisecond latency. There we go. I've got a 25 megabit connection, so the limitation here is definitely the phone um, or the Wi Fi drivers, the chipset, something along those lines. Um, it's not my internet connection by any stretch. And there you go, we got 7.8 meg down, 2.3 up. And again, you can see how nice that full screen mode is. I really like it, and it's intelligent too, you know, the way it moves around. So we'll go back to home. That ah, shouldn't have done that. Alright, I got three minutes left before YouTube's gonna end up rejecting this video unless I edit stuff out, which takes even longer. So let me see if I can open a browser, do a quick search, and I'll try and show you a Flash game. I got some folks on Tiny Chat watching right now. Anyone want to recommend a Flash game to search for? <laughs> Birdman's listening as I do that. And uh, he says, Miner's right, I can fix those things in like 10 minutes. <laughs> He's not worried about that stuff. It's the hardware that's been a real issue for us. I'm not seeing any flash game recommendations from these guys, so I'll just Google and see what happens. <laughs> I'm not pulling up Farmville. Freaking crazies. That game's like crack. It's ruining people's lives. No, I can't hear you right now, Brent. I had to pull my headphones out because of the echo that I'm picking up from your speakers playing my voice back into your mic. I can't talk. All right, let's see. Sports games, toy, Toys Wars sounds interesting. Let's see what that's about. Oh, Brent screamed Farmville, too. Go full screen and see what that does. Hey, so I gotta hold it. Still enough here. Uh, okay, I thought I hit play game there. Oh, great. I think I hit one of those loser websites where I'm gonna get bounced around a bazillion links before I can actually play something. And I'm about out of time. <laughs> Brent says, do a video showing just Flash games. But Brent doesn't understand how long it takes me to edit and upload these huge S 720p videos. Oh, I think I just cursed. T-Mobile asks, what do you want from your wireless company? How about we don't go broke when she sends 35,000 texts in one month? That's an exaggeration. You're fine, no. we'll just use this to show off something, because I actually haven't had Flash video working properly in here before. And it crashed. Oh well. I'll see you about doing another video, guys, to show off a little more Flash, and I will catch you around.